What's up, YouTube? Lazy and I'm here, and here we're back with some more Idle Heroes. Uh, we're not actually really going through things right now, but I do want to say I spent 20 of these to replace an Abyss Hero. Someone actually commented this, and I happened to get it right before the event ended. We've got four hours, I think, left on it. Um, and I actually got her, which means I have enough to spawn her in. I don't know what else she's used other than for Norma. Um, you know, she's used there. I'm not sure what else we'd need her for. Um... But we might end up making a six-star Norma. Probably not. <laughs> I, I doubt we're going to make a Norma. Uh, if anything, it'd be food for... I don't know what else you might use that later on. But if it happens, it happens. Uh, we're not needing six-star food right now, obviously. Uh, so, nonetheless, I believe... We, we, we want to do this, because I want to get the the claim on the uh, the event. So, if I can craft this, then we're going to summon our Bria in, and we'll have summoned the Abyss stuff. So, we need four of this dude, which I'm sure I have. Uh, I'm not guild. What am I doing? Uh, I wanted to do this real quick before we get into the episode. Episode will be taking place later. We've got to have this dude. Yeah, we have exactly four. Um, so we'll get him in, uh, which will give us a nice fusion. Uh, pop on in here, and then we can take in... Are we going to use that guy for anything? What is he used for? Anything? No. Besides, no, not even himself. I don't think he's used for anything. So just use him. I think he's kind of the same thing, but um, we got a bunch of him. We can actually make pretty much a five star him as well. Let's fuse that up. Sweet. We got a five star, one of them, uh, which is nice. It gets us closer to getting the Norma done. Um, obviously, we would still need a couple more, or one more Norma, and then four more of these guys because we're out of those now. Uh, but real quick, we can pop into not here. Uh, that should have counted. Let me double check that did count first. Um, yeah, so that counted. And then we summon our Bria, and we get that, which is just six more heroic souls. Um, or. Um, summons which is really really nice um and i definitely think that was that was well worth um get that done again i don't think i want to really use Berea necessarily um it's cool that we have it oh yeah we got the fusion event too which i guess is nice um can never really complain again uh, about that um we got that done now what i'm thinking and i'm almost positive i'm gonna do um, a lot of you guys are saying don't waste the guild coins don't waste the guild coins don't waste the guild coins on the heroes in the starlight shop and i get it i understand that's a terrible thing to do um it's just we're at such a spot where we're, we're gonna hinder the account so much sitting on this like this is such a hindrance um getting no quests in a day and any like now like it's it's so bad for us um we need we need a six star so what i think we're gonna do is we're gonna summon this boy we're gonna get him in here um i need to get rid of four things I need to keep her, meaning these two and those two are going bye-bye, which sucks because they're level 100, and I hate getting rid of her, but we have to. We have to do it. Um, I don't know if it matters if he's level 100 one. We have the, the one of him. We obviously have him, and then definitely those two. We're not going to use him ever, and we have to save her because she's either... Um, if for some reason Starlight we get a second copy, I'll still make her a six star. But more realistically, um, does she use her two? No, she uses the assassin one, which I have one in the bag, I'm ready to summon if we need. But Vessa, Vessa will use that too, which is more where I'd want to save it for, because um, she seemed kind of rare, like not super rare, but kind of rare. But we need that six star to get these quests moving, so that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna do it. Let's summon it. Oh wait, I only need three. Oh, never mind. We can keep her. Um, sweet. I'm happy. We're not actually going to be adding him to the team. Um, I don't think he's worth adding to the Oh, we actually get some stuff back from the level 100. That's cool. Is that everything we spent on them? I don't think you get everything back. I'm pretty sure you get less. Um, but really cool. That's technically another one of these as well, which gives me a special summon suite. We'll take it. Um, and then I can finally do these. And we're going to get this out of the way. Um, ugh, 15 hours. Um, will I get it done? Ooh, my monthly stuff ends soon. I don't know if I want to risk it. I'm probably going to have to wait till next month, which is unfortunate. Um, so we're still going to just be holding on to quests. I don't know why I'm looking at the fusion one like it's the fusion one I'm waiting for. Uh, Broke his face, we're good on. I'll have to complete this later today. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait till next month. I was hoping to kind of grab it this month. That's just a free 10, and then I'm already halfway to getting another free 10 um, for next month. I'm worried 
Because it's actually 16 hours, is it not? How much is it to speed it up? 60 gems. It's worth speeding it up. You guys might yell at me for this. I'm going to speed this up. I get the refund, which means I just get less. But then I can complete this and complete the other one before the end of the month and get 10 profit orbs this month and probably 10 next month because I'll have an extra one already chilling. This could be bad. Yell at me if you want. It's done. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. And I was also told that you can't really get high rated heroes from these ones. I don't know how true that is. Um, from like the random summons. I, I, I don't know if it's just rare or if you actually can't. And you have to basically re-roll them to get it. Um, but I think I'd rather the branches anyways. Not for We're not going to re-roll any other big heroes, I don't think. Replacing the small heroes, I feel like the level 4 star and just trying to craft the 5 star, I feel like it's so much more efficient most of the time. Um, if you're close to it, obviously, that is. Um, get one 6 star hero. Sweet. Got that done. Uh, sweet. And then we'll come back later this episode for whatever else we're going to do later tonight when I decide. All right, so we're back here um, a little later in the day, of course. Um, we're going to get our full daily stuff done, so let's do it. Get rolling here. I haven't actually been buying these, which I've been slacking on. I think I've been missing them. Ooh, that's bad. Why would I want that? Um, <laughs> that, that stinks. It's like you get kind of hit one of the rare things, and I feel like it's not something we really care for. I got excited at first for some reason when I saw it, but uh, it looks exciting. It's not actually exciting. Oh, that's garbage. And, oh, a four-star. I'll take it. I am not going to complain a tiny bit about that. Take it without a doubt. Um, so we're still working on this. Um, still six hours left, so that'll be done tomorrow for sure. Um, let me make sure I'm buying these. We actually, I should be careful with my gems real quick because of the event going on right now. Um, I'm going to need some advice. Um, I have a decent bit of gems. I don't know what I want. Uh, they all actually seem like they're not terrible value. It's the gem box. The gem box event's here. What is this? Oh, a two. It's like two hours limited time. That actually doesn't. I don't know what the actual value of that is, but that doesn't seem terrible. Um, but here's the chest. I kind of wish I had this because the because the guy horse, which I know would have been pretty hard to build, but that would have been like, I mean, that's a top tier, best of the best, like front line. Um, for sure. I don't know what level 5. I don't know if he has to be like pushed up higher, but I know he's good. Um, plus 25k um, guild tokens would be nice. Um, this one I can afford. It's an elite hero shard. Not bad. I don't think I care about that as much, though. I mean, there's other ways to get magic dust. I want to say that's probably not worth it. I'm 90% sure I want this one um, rather than this one. First of all, the gear is great. Second of all, Boom, we get eight profit orbs, which are such a pain to build up for. And if I'm going to do that anyways, it makes sense to probably grab this one because I can definitely grab that and I can grab this one. So I can grab all three of these and I think that's what I want to do. Or I basically grab this and then I could save up and grab like that if I wanted. But I think I would value this much more than this. I actually don't think that's worth it off the top of my head like that. I don't know. It could be anything. I mean, it's definitely an elite. So it means it could be something good like you know, I think it is guaranteed to be someone decent, is it not? Is that what the elite ones are? I'm not, I'm not positive. Um, I mean, obviously, I feel like that's probably a good value, but there's no way I get to 8K. Um, but yeah, I think just grabbing these th uh, these four, no, sorry, three, would be the way to go. From the profit orbs up, eight profit orbs, which would be a nice because we don't have any profit orbs. Profit orbs are hard to come by. Um, so that's probably what I'll do. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, they've got this going on as well, which is pretty decent. Um, the only thing I really care about, obviously, is going to be profit orbs. We'll get profit orbs, and then at the end, we'll be able to buy um, as many of these as we can buy, basically. And then um, probably just the green goo. Um, we have a kind of excess amount of both right now. We have quite a bit of gold. Um, I mean, I know gold can go really fast. And I know I should never say I really have an excess because it could definitely go fast. Something I wanted to test, though, just to see. And it's going to be different per team, but I feel like because this is light, and I don't think the only thing, I think the only thing that's better than light is dark, right? They Don't they beat each other or do something with each other? I don't think they have a, anything else is a better chance. It's obviously going to come down to rarity. I just want to see the damage. Sigmund. 
That's what we're looking at today. So, that's Sigmund's damage. If I come out of this, and I'm not going to level him up or anything, but we find our Sigmund, we unequipped him, we take this and put this on your boy here. I can tell you his HP is massively higher, and I'll go compare the stats for you guys in a second. Do we do better? Should I be leveling this guy up? I'm not going to take him higher star, but should he be a temporary replacement until I get another Sigmund, for example, or, you know, something like that? I mean, we beat it. He did roughly amount of damage, and I'm sure he tanked more. I should have watched it. <laughs> I should have watched it. It's so hard to tell. Um, I think I'm going to put him in the main team for now. Which thinks I don't think... I want to level him up, but it's like, should I? Also, I don't think he has this if I don't level him up. Which I think is what he's good for. Yeah, when taking damage, yeah, I would need to level him up. I don't know, guys. You guys, let me know on this as well what I should do. Should I rock him? Should I level him up to 140? Um, I keep him at 140. I'm pretty sure when I put him into something, I get some refund of the resources I spend. I mean, it's definitely going to be expensive bringing him to 140 for sure. Um, but stat-wise... I mean, HP, attack, defense, and that. So 122, yeah, 122 and a half thousand HP, 6K damage, um, 930 defense, basically. And we pop over to you, boy. Ooh, Sigmund, wow. Half the HP, and these two are about the same. And I think the speed's the same. But the HP's double the defense. He's probably going to do better. We're probably going to, like, he, we might not do as much damage necessary, but uh, he's a wall. So I think for now, at least for this video, I'm not going to level him up. Like I said, I don't want to waste the gold if you guys don't think it's a good idea. Um, and I know he's, he is potentially, he's just meant, like, you know, going to be food. Um, I'm going to keep him in the front line, and we're going to actually go watch a couple of these. Let's push this. And I know this video is already, we got, we got like, a little over 12 minutes 13, 14 minutes now. But he won't attack back because he doesn't take damage. When, when he takes damage. Hmm. He's just a wall. I don't know. These things like attack the back. It's, it's hard to compare. It's so hard to weigh things. He'd be better. At, I mean, if he's not better now, he's 100% better, I think, at 140 or when he has that six, that, um, his tier 6 ability, the level 2 version of this. I mean, when taking damage, reduces the target's armor break by 13 and burns it dealing, you know, 36% um, damage for each uh, damage for each round uh, for 6 rounds. Like, that's a lot of damage add-up. It's probably not as good as... I mean, definitely not as good as Sigmund if Sigmund was the same. I just don't know who else I'd want to take off the team temporarily. I don't. I really don't want to take anyone off the team. Um... I'd want to swap tank for tank, probably. Um, and, you know, I love crews stacking with Heart Watcher and etc. Like, it, it just... I like where they're going from. They buff the rest of the team so well. Um, I think it's probably worth taking the 140. I just don't know what exactly I get in return. Uh, let me skip through these as far as we can go. Let's see what tower rank we can get to with this team. Um, what is it saying my power ratings up to? Yeah, we're over 100,000 now, which is cool. Let's skip through as many of these as we can. Uh, let me actually run through this off camera. Skip through as many of these as we can, and when we get stuck, um, we'll watch it and see what's happening. All right, so found one I was dying. I died a couple times in a row, too. Um, let's check it out, see what's happening. Again, it's so hard because it's not like the same exact things happening every turn. Because uh, I said then we try it with Sigmund, but it's like the same things don't happen. I mean, it's back on getting taken out, which it looks like this is, yeah. That's right off the bat. There's our, our buff getting, yeah, this is just back line gets lost. Yeah, that's that's not even that's not gonna matter no matter who it is. I mean, we almost actually come out of this. He's so tanky, man. The man just tanks. We could definitely beat this, um, and I'll probably try it a couple times off camera. Um, I'm gonna do Aspen Dungeon this week off camera as well. I will do the next one with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna take my time with this one. This video is already getting so long. I mean, we have I could do it tomorrow. How long do I have? Doesn't save it. I think it just opened. I'm afraid it opened before, though. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, is all. 
I'll probably do this one off camera. I'll do the next one with you guys, though. And as some, someone actually mentioned that they do enjoy the Aspen Dungeon, watching it and seeing how far we get. And I'll be smart about it this time. I will swap gear individually, um, whoever's attacking. Like, I'll be, I'll be really slow about it. Um, and again, definitely going to just spend the tech in here. Um, you guys talk me out of it. I'm going to do it so I can't go back on it. If I spend it, then there's no, there's no, oh, I did it the other way, even though I said I wasn't going to. This will actually be a lot of gold spent, uh, to think about it, too. We lose a decent bit of gold with it. Sure, we'll go one higher there. Whatever. I don't really care. Let's get in here. Let's see how the team does with this guy. I mean, raid-wise, it's not like we'd lose people anyway. I mean, he's got a gear on. Let's see how it goes. We'll do two samples with this. This is just straight damage, though. And I think we do less damage, especially with him not doing any kind of armor break reduction or anything like that. He doesn't put the burn on him when he's attacked. I don't think this, this matters. If anything, he'll probably do less damage. I mean, his attack's slightly higher, but he also doesn't get his uh, counterattack. He doesn't have counterattack. But I feel like if we're, <laughs> I feel like because we have a 6-star, like we almost have to use it. Six stars are definitely different than five stars, and it's not like every six star is better than any every like like it's five stars for example. Basically, every five star was better than any four star I have. I could have had a four star of anything. It's different because like six stars, you can't bring certain heroes to six stars. Like the bad heroes, really like terrible heroes cannot go to six star. Really, like all like the starting heroes, they just they don't have a six star version of them. You know, like it's got to be an actual hero, a decent hero that's gonna go up. But I think he temporarily would be better than Sigmund at 140. I think bringing him 140. I just don't know if spending that gold and whatnot into him is technically the best way to go about that. <laughs> I'm definitely a little concerned that spending spending all that into him and then not getting it in return when I decide literally he's just going into something else. That, I'm pretty sure, is less damage. Oh my. Oh my. Ooh. She's done a million damage. What? <laughs> Starlight. You're a god. Um, we did that and then real quickly just swap it back. Um, I'm not going to change my like uh, PVE uh, or anything like that. And right now, when I, what's, what am I doing? When I put this gear back on uh, Sigmund, I'll leave it on for now. But let me know what you guys think and... Um, next video, I may not hear your responses to this quite yet, um, but I will. I mean, obviously, at some point, I'm going to going to get you guys' responses. Uh, just get that get that other raid in real quick. I just I don't know. It's hard to tell. I really don't have to watch the raid. I could skip it. Um, it's more of the damage we're concerned about. But see, every time he's attacked, we'll see here. I mean, you'll see he does the counter attack. And then she attacks and hits him, which she's not doing. I don't think she targets the back line by any means, right? She targets random enemies. Yeah, so she attacks and then he attacks right after. Uh, and we don't have to watch that again. Um, a lot more damage, but I think that's just the way things went. Although he does a lot of damage. Although he did a lot more too. We just did more damage in general that time. What other buffs or debuffs does Sigmund do? That right there, I think, answers my question. Sigmund's still probably better. At least against that, which I forget the circle of. Uh, I don't know how to check it. The circle of stuff. I can't go to any new battles. I'm going to say, if I know if I go to a new battle, I can see it. They have to be in a battle. And there's like a button you can click. Can you do it in here? No. I don't know this thing. Um, I forget the wheel and what's good against what, but Sigma might just be better at that, which I get. But I, <laughs> that was a lot more damage. That was that was drastic. Uh, so what I got to make sure I do as well is get these done. Um, we will complete this, which will be huge. Uh, we already have one towards the next month. Um, hopefully, we'll get this done next month as well, and we'll get a full completion. Which should be cool. Get some more of these, which I think, yeah, I've got five of them already. Don't know really what we're saving for. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, an Aspen could be cool. Um, 
We're probably going to need to get something. I already have one copy of an OP character, and we'll want another copy of it. Um, I don't think picking up like anything in here. I mean, I mean obviously Heart Watcher. We're building Heart Watcher, so um, I'd like to take Heart Watcher up. We're definitely want to do that. Might be a Vesa. It's just, but if I take a Vesa and Heart Watcher up really high, like what's the point? Because if we're making a rainbow team later on, you can't really do that. You can only have one of each. But I mean, it's going to be so hard before we get a rainbow team and actually get a good, you know, light and dark hero on the team. But I don't really know what we're saving for, what we're what we're aiming for. Man, some of these are so pricey for like what they are. I mean, like I know Cruise is good and all, but like, e sixty for that one. You can just save up another twenty. Um, but if we can start getting the, this tavern quest done every month, that'd be sweet. Um, broken spaces, make sure I spend those. I think you do get to bring them on to the next month if you. I think you bring those on. Does anyone? If you guys can let me know that as well, uh, if I bring those on, and then I have to do a little bit of cleanup here. Um, and I don't know if I can start doing these yet. Like, are these completable at my level? I don't even know like how to do the like. You need like, like fifteen people. That would be so much to do that, but I feel like I'm missing out on it, not doing it, you know? Uh, I'm going to have to look into that. I don't know if like I can really be doing that or not, but that would be nice to start getting done. I feel like I should be doing it, but also I don't know if I can do it, but that'd be awesome. Um, I would definitely, definitely do that, rush through that, but that's where I'd start spending a lot. I mean, I have so many of these right now, um, and we're actually doing pretty good at rank. Rank's actually low right now. Um, and there's, I'm telling you, there are so many, I was talking about it yesterday, so many low-level people, which are currently not showing up at all. I just first a couple. I yeah, know they're not here anymore. Um, there, there is a couple super low-level people. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please take a second, smack the like button, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.